Hey folks, Lord Thunder Monkey back here doing another mob review with you. This time we're looking at the Coon Plow. And as always, if you guys like these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like them, give me a thumbs down. Either way, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what I could do better or what I can make worse. But if you really like them, subscribe and follow along. Tell your friends about these mods and uh, where, to, where to get these and also share them with them. Uh, shout out to the modders. Thank you guys for always adding new content to the game, keeping it fresh, keeping it new, and uh, keeping this game from getting boring because I'm afraid it would without you guys. I will be critical of your mod and how it looks just due to the fact that I like really, really good stuff in my Let's Plays that I'm showing off. And I want everybody who's watching these to know just exactly what it is they're getting into, what they're adding to their mod folder, and how it's going to affect their gameplay. It's not because I can mod because, quite frankly, I get in that studio and I'm lost. So thank you guys. But let's check it out in the shop. We are going to find this where it belongs under plows. And I have actually got alongside me with me my creator, my artiste of Lord Thunder Monkey's channel art. Hey guys, my name is Zach. That's my boy. He's the one that came up with it. Uh, came up with it. I told him I wanted to be Lord Thunder Monkey. He came up with what Lord Thunder Monkey ended up looking like. So it is the very master 2 plus 1 plow. It runs $12,500, will cost you $10 a day, does a massive 1.8 meters wide, requires at least 95 horsepower. Leasing it, not a bad option, $1,000. So let's take a look at this up close and personal. And I would have to say it looks very, very nice. You got your warning decals. This is a really nice looking mod so far. Coon, it's got all all the deals on here you would expect. I assume that's the degree offset that you can set up. It is a brand new plow. It, it's not one of the older ones, which is okay. I like the, I think that one's, I think if we're going to get nitpicky, I think that might be out of place. We'll see. That might just be functionality of it. But I think that was supposed to be connected up there. Could be, no. No, we'll check, we'll check that out. I could be wrong. I could be nitpicking something that isn't nitpicking, but... Ah! Oh, even on the back side and the shading, it changes with the reflection. Very, very nice looking plow. So, I have got here the in-game. I like to keep it, uh, keep it uh, straight. We know what the in-game stuff is supposed to do. Sometimes the mods do something a little different. Uh, each one of them. And so I like to make sure that this mod is the one that when I see something happen, it's the mod and not the tractor. I've also got a 650 uh, weight on in front. So you can see this this arm, it dropped out and, and ratcheted up as I picked it up. So that's a nice little bit there. I'm not sure, and i got to check, I don't remember what speed this is supposed to be doing. Get over here and we'll check that out. This is a 99 horsepower tractor. I know this requires 95 horsepower. And I'm assuming, you know, we're going to check that out first. Even though Y is not up there, we're going to hit Y and just see if we can't create fields when we get in there. Turning of the plow. Very nice. Oh, uh, nope. I'd say that those, those hydraulics are right where they belong, the ones I was nitpicking earlier. So let's, before we go and drop it in the ground, this plow should do 9 miles an hour. So I hit Y to create fields, and it does create fields, even though that's not listed up above. And we are cruising. Now, I'm only able to get this guy up to five, four or five miles an hour. Not quite the nine horsepower, or nine miles an hour, it was stating. But the animations on it doesn't seem to quite drop him. They want to stay in the ground. That could be the ground response mod, but the animations, they look really nice. Overall, I'd say it's a, it's a nice looking job of, of from the cultivator. So let's go ahead, or from the cultivator, from the plow. There's the kickstand back out. Let's bring our friend over here who's, quite frankly, overpowered for this job. Just to make sure. Also known as OP. OP? Okay. Old people? No, OP overpowered. O overpowered old people? Yeah. No? Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's gone lame. Anyway, let's get backed up here. 288 horsepower. Overpowered? I don't think so. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Cruising right along. Not a problem with, quite frankly, way too much power. So this will do the job, folks. It may be a little slow when you go dead on horsepower with it. You can see it's really, it's got the ground turned up there really, really nicely. I like that. Um, but overall, really, really nice mod. Nice little plow. Add to your game if you got small fields you're working in. Check it out. Thank the modders. Tell your friends about these videos. Share them with them. Let them know to come watch me and to subscribe. I'm Lord Thunder Monkey. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.